Hello and good morning everyone. Uh today in the patch 913 we had an update when it comes to champions, but also when it comes to the drop rates. So we're gonna go quickly through them uh to give you like a first impression of uh what is going on in this patch, what you could expect and what you could change in your own playstyle uh to be a better player. So first of all, let's see what are the changes in the units that we have in the game. Elise got a buff right now. Uh her ability costs 75 mana instead of 100 mana so you have to take into account the bar of the mana bar of a champion is always the same size even if there's like someone like akali who has 25 mana the bar will be the, still the same size phys like visually like an example let's say leona which has 150 mana so although elise will get its mana decrease from 100 to 75 visually you will still see it the same way but you will be filling it faster, which is a very big deal uh, for Elise, since you need to uh, have less auto attacks to actually get to that 75 mana to get the spiderlings. Um, she also got buffed her demon trait, which we'll talk about later on. So I feel like Elise might be in a point where we actually can play her and she will not feel super inferior. I don't think she will be super like powerful, but she might actually become playable. We're gonna test it out right after we're done with this video. Now, Cannon. Cannon got upgraded attack damage and attack speed. Not sure about that because it was a very good creature before. So, right now, he's being pushed into, in my opinion, a higher tier. With 70 attack damage instead of 60, that is actually a very big buff. It's over 10%. While the attack speed will also increase the mana generation. And that means he'll have his ult being played faster. Very important buff for Cannon. And that will mean he will be even better than before. And I, I, I honestly liked Cannon. I, feel, uh, I felt like he was one of the best characters in the game already. We'll see. Poppy. Now that is an interesting one. Since this is the second Yordle, Cannon and Poppy are Yordles. And there's also Vagar later on, which got a buff. So we got three Yordles that got buff, which is an indirect uh, buff to the Yordle trait in general. So Poppy got increased health from 750 HP to 800, and the mana cost reduced from 100 to 75, which is, again, a very big buff. The health will mean he will get, um, she will get a little bit more survival, which means she might get her ult off faster, which means... That with 75 mana, she can actually ult twice instead of once, like in the other patch, you know? So this is uh, actually a very important buff for Poppy, and it might be, uh, might be one of the buffs that will put her into top tier as well. We'll see how that goes. Now, the next buff, I think this one is actually nuts. Virus got its mana reduced from 100 to 75. And that is insane. That is insane because Virus has one of the most powerful ultimates in the game. But the problem is that he was not doing it fast enough, right? With the half, um, second and a half cast time, and then 100 mana that he would have to get, it, it was actually not that easy to pull off a Virus ultimate, especially since sometimes it just hits what's one person. But it's a nuke. It deals insane amount of damage. And now with 70, 75 mana, it might actually mean that Varus will be a top tier DPS. Although you have to remember that his cast time, 1.5 seconds, is actually very long. So putting an example, let's say, uh, Rage Blade, Rage Blade on him might not, make, might not make any sense. Since he will lose a lot of time instead of auto attacking. And this will not put a lot of attack speed on that character. So... Different type of items might be very good for him. Vagar, another different um, type of buff that uh, probably will make him playable. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. We're gonna test it out today. Uh, Vagar is one of the characters that I feel like was very uh, underwhelming, although he was possible to make uh, him very powerful, but he would require Vagar on the gold level. Uh, right now, with the mana cost reduced to 85 and the damage buffed on the gold, which I assume also is buffed on the silver stage, uh, will make him more of a threat in the mid game when he's uh, on silver on silver plate. So, mana cost 85. That's 15% uh, reduced. I feel like that's actually quite nice. Uh, we'll have to see 
might be very good. Like, in general, Yordle's got a big buff in this patch. Volibear speed. Now, that's not that big of a change. It's 10% speed um, added to Volibear, which adds uh, basically reduced mana duration, I guess. Uh, sorry, uh, reduced ultimate duration. By that, I mean that it will get to his ultimate faster. It's a bit of a buff. It's definitely more important than buffing damage. Uh, Volibear now will just be casting his ultimate faster, which ultimately makes him a better character. We'll see how that goes. Um, now, tier 5 units. Misfortune. That's another very big buff. From 100 to 75, we all know that Misfortune in general, uh, tier 5 units, unless they're called Yasuo, they're not really that useful on level 1, on the bronze stage, right? But with this, with those buffs for Misfortune and Carters, we can talk about them together, actually, since they got buffed, um, they got buffed the same way. Misfortune from uh, 100 to 75 mana, Carters from 100 to 85 mana. I feel like this might push them uh, to be more effective, especially for Misfortune, which requires uh, also cast time. It's not like immediate damage. She might start her ult and not deal any damage and die. Uh, this is 25% faster, so it's pretty important. For Cartus, we'll see. He's a sorcerer. You can might you might actually push sorcerer trade um, to get more AP. So Cartus with faster mana might deal a lot more damage. And there's also a very big buff uh, to traits, which is demon. Demons, according to Riot's um, opinion, demons are underperforming. We're increasing their reliability. Interesting opinion. Uh, the proc chance from demons in the pre-patch was 30, 50, and 70%. Now it's going to be 40, 60, and 80%, which is 10% more in every single stage. So even when you have only two demons on board, there's a 40% chance that each of their auto attack will burn the entire mana of an opponent and deal true damage. So in my opinion, at least, I think demons weren't underperforming. I'm feeling, I think demons were underrated and were one of the kind of uh, creatures that worked very well if used correctly. With this buff, this might actually put them on the map as a permanent um, inclusion of some compositions. Uh, in general, demons are very powerful because they deny um, they deny um, mana, which denies ultimates, right? And if you combine that with disarm and silence, as an example, and you know, guys, I love disarm, this might actually make a soft lock on a composition of your opponent and, well, just deny them doing whatever they can. So that's pretty good. This is a very big buff to, to demons. We'll see how that goes. Now, another big buff. I mean, not buff, but it's a change. It's a change of everything uh, that is happening in the game. That's a huge change. The drop rate stable is actually insane. Right now, we have different, different percentage of getting units and it's a big buff to tier 3 and tier 2. The amount of champions that we have in the game didn't change. We still have 39 tier 1, 26 tier 2, 21 tier 3 and 13 tier 4, 10, 10, um, 10 of tier 5. So the probability of building um, a character just by judging by the amount of pieces it's still the same. But what changed is the probability of getting a, def um, a specific tier on specific levels. So, what you can see from here is that level 2 didn't change anything. But, you already on level 3, there's a huge change. You can get a tier 3 on level 3 already, and that's a 5% chance on each of these slots in the, in the shop. And also tier 2 got also above while reducing the tier 1. The, the same happens in the next stages, in tier 4, sorry, in level 4, in level 5, level 6... You, you can see that there's a small buff on, on, on just getting tier 3 all together during the game. And, uh, well, the same happens with tier 2. Which makes the game way different because it will be easier to build a tier 2 or tier 3 gold um, creature while decreasing uh, the chances of building a gold tier 1. Now, we know that specific of TFT was um, the characteristic of TFT was that building a tier 1 gold unit was a very crucial strategy to a lot of players. Because, an example, at stage 3-1, right after the Krugs, people were spamming rolling because they knew there's a very high chance of getting uh, tier 1 units. Now, with decrease of 5%, this might not seem like much, 
but when you spam the reroll button like five, six, seven times, it will actually make a probability of getting tier one units to gold much less. You know, and that's a very important change. It might change the way we play the game. It might actually slow down the game, and we might actually see way more players in late game, or we'll see a very big emphasis on items, an even bigger emphasis on items that we have seen before. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's it from this patch in the 9.13. This was the update of the first day of July, I think. Right? Is it July? I think it's July. All right. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.